Hey, what's up everyone? This is Luke and welcome to our Practical Instruments video series. In this series, you'll work on an app called Castagram. It's kind of like Instagram, but distilled to its purest form, pictures of people's cats. You'll learn how to track down and fix the app's many performance problems, as well as a few strategies for fixing memory leaks and improving battery life. Before getting started on this course, we sent out a survey to see what our viewers were most interested in learning. We got a ton of feedback from people saying that they've been working on iOS apps for years and have either never used instruments at all, or if they have, they only use it every once in a while, and when they do, they always have that lingering suspicion that they're using it wrong. Well, if you're in either of those boats, fear not. In a few short videos, you can be at least a little bit more confident in your knowledge of what instruments is and how you can use it in your own apps to solve problems. This series was made possible thanks to the tech editing talents of James Taylor. Not to be confused with the singer of the 1971 breakout hit, You've Got a Friend, James's Swift skills were a big help in ensuring that our sample apps were in top form. Go ahead and give him a follow on Twitter, at JamesTaylorIOS. All right, so what exactly is this instruments thing anyway? Well, as you may already know, instruments is a powerful debugging and profiling tool that comes prepackaged with Xcode. The tool called instruments is quite literally a collection of tools, each one being an instrument. You can use these instruments to inspect your application. When you go to choose how you want to profile your app, you'll choose from a list of profiling templates. Each of these templates consists of one or more instruments that have been configured in order to perform a common type of investigation. When using the various instruments, your goal is usually to measure and improve your app in one of three ways. You're either trying to improve performance, fix a memory problem, or improve your battery life. First, we'll take a look at instruments itself and learn about its various panels and modes, as well as what a lot of the readings and symbols you'll see will mean. Profiling your app's performance is probably where you'll spend the majority of your time in instruments. In videos three and four, we'll take a look at the Time Profiler instrument. This tool works by taking a snapshot of your app's stack trace at constant intervals, and then showing you the methods your app is calling and how much time is spent in each one. Then in video six, we'll take a look at the Core Animation instrument. This instrument allows you to get a rough overview of how performant your UI is, and also allows you to easily spot potential slowdowns like unnecessary alpha blending and off-screen rendering. In video five, we'll take a break from worrying about performance and profile our app to see if it has any memory problems. Here we'll learn how to track down and fix memory leaks using the memory graph debugger, as well as the allocations instrument. Then in the challenge, we'll take a look at finding memory that has been over-released, AKA zombie objects. In our last video, we'll take a look at the energy log template, which you can use to inspect your app's energy usage. Of course, the instruments don't fit solely into the categories in which I'll present them. For instance, your app can be leaving a ton of unnecessary network connections open. This would make memory spike and probably hurt performance at the same time. This problem would be visible from many of the instruments, and any one of them could be the one that points you in the right direction. The thing to remember is, your app is a complex system, and these tools allow you to take a look at what's going on from different perspectives in order to give you clues about where your problems might be. That's it for our introduction. If getting a more in-depth look at instruments still sounds appealing, then your challenge is to go ahead and move on to the next video. There you'll get an overview of the different parts of the instruments app before diving into profiling Castagram's performance with the Time Profiler. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.